You may recognize it as the name your grandma calls you as she pinches your cheek, but this tasty treat gets its name from a super sweet ingredient, honey. You guessed it. We're talking about the honey bun. Carolina Foods in Charlotte, North Carolina has been making these honey-filled fried sweet rolls for over 60 years. My grandfather founded Carolina Foods in 1934. He was running it from his basement. But what exactly is a honey bun? Honey bun is a fried sweet roll that is actually made with real honey, uh, fried, and then glazed. Sounds yummy, right? We'll get to the waterfall of warm glaze later. But for now, we need to start from the beginning. The making of the honey bun starts with a top secret formulation called the honey bun concentrate. It actually has real honey in it, and we, you know, have our own secret formula, which is a mix that we blend and contains unique spices and other ingredients. And then we add sugar, flour, shortening, water, and put that in the mixer, and we mix it up. Next, the dough is flattened, dusted with cinnamon, and then rolled into that iconic honey bun shape. After the cinnamon is, is applied to the dough, it goes to a torpedo roller. And that torpedo roller takes the dough, turns it on its side, and rolls it up into a long, we call it a snake. And it then is fed into our guillotine process where it's cut into individual pieces of bun. These future honey buns are now on their way to take a dip in a very hot oil bath. And this is the cool part. As they float along the frying tub, an ingenious contraption flips them to ensure the perfect brown bun. They're looking more like honey buns now, but there's still one more delicious step. After they're fried, the honey buns turn the corner on the conveyor belt and prepare for the steepest slope of their day. But trust me, it's worth the climb. They go under this big waterfall of glaze and get coated in clear, hot, yummy glaze. After uh, the glaze is applied, it goes through several conveyors to our cooling tower. It's on the cooling tower for around 30 minutes to cool the buns down so we can actually wrap them at a certain temperature. Looking at this huge tower is every sweet tooth's dream. It's basically thousands of fresh, hot, sweet pastries slowly spiraling round and round. We can make 200 million honey buns a year. And if you do the math, it turns out that if you lie the honey buns end to end, they will reach around two thirds of the Earth's equator. So that's a lot of honey buns. That only leaves us with one last question. How did the snack get its clever name? So I guess the, the name honey bun comes from the fact that it's a sweet roll, but it has honey in it. So, you know, it's a bun with honey in it. That's where the name comes from. <laughs> ah, honey bun. Not only is this sweet to hear from your grandma, it's even sweeter to eat.